Hey everybody, hope you're okay today. Uh, today I'm gonna do my empties for February. Um, yeah, so <laughs> we'll see what I've been using, what I like, what I don't like. Um, and yeah, it's looking pretty empty this month, so never thought I'd say that. It's normally full. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you're new here, um, this is also known as the box of cat hair because it has like oils and things from the products and then Conker likes to sleep in it so it gets really gross so don't judge. <laughs> so yeah first up we've got the Body Shop and this is the Fresh Raspberry Body Exfoliator. This is really nice Um it smells gorgeous and um, the exfoliator in it is the seeds from the raspberries which is is quite cute but I don't think it gives the best scrub Um as what a sugar or a salt scrub would um so yeah I, I do like it um but it's not my favorite so next up we've got simple and this is the five minute reset Hy hydrogel mask um this is the face one to do eye ones as well they're both incredible uh, so i've spoke about the, these before really nice masks um feel gorgeous it says five minutes i just pop it on and leave it till I get bored um but yeah really nice then we've got Lure and this is the legend hair mask um so this was in was it discovered beauty I think we got like the hair kit system uh so the shampoo and conditioner were full size but there was like a little travel size on the mask um yeah it it was nice enough I've had cheaper masks that have perform just as well though so I probably wouldn't repurchase it um but there's certainly nothing wrong with it then we've got some lashes from Aldel and this is the Wispies this is the five pack these ones um I don't think they actually have a name on the multi-pack ones from Aldel um I, I don't know where it is anyway so if they do and you know <laughs> where it is please tell me um but yeah they were really nice um i went to repurchase them i couldn't find these exact ones so i've got the ones that i'm wearing today and they were like in a six pack so i don't know if they are the same and they're just now come in a six pack i'm not too sure because they do look quite similar um but yeah really nice then we've got a hand cream from otto and this is the cbd hand cream this is really nice um i have received a second one of this as well um this one's quite pricey, I think the £19 uh, for hand cream, that's <laughs> really expensive. It is really nice though, and I did really enjoy using it. Um, I don't think I would purchase it just because of the price tag, um, but it is really nice. Then we've got a mascara from number 7, this is the full 360 waterproof mascara. Um, so yeah, it it's nice. Um, it, yeah <laughs> it is um a nice volume mascara it's not the best i've used um but it is certainly very good um i'm on the hunt for really good volume mascara because uh, my absolute favorite is like stop making mascara um so i'm absolutely gutted so i'm trying to find one now um so this this one was okay um yeah um the hunt continues then we've got a lash primer from um, Max Factor, and this is False Lash Effects Primer. Um, so this one uh, just goes under your mascara to give more volume and length to your lashes. This one is blue, um, the often white, um, but yeah, it is really good. Um, I'm using the Avon one at the moment, and the Avon one is amazing, um, and they're quality free, so I'll pro I'd probably go for the Avon one over this one just because of the quality free, um, but yeah, it's still good. So then we've got a brow gel from Quick Flick, so it's like that. This one, <laughs> it was just like glue, uh, I don't know if you can see that on there, but yeah, it, it really does just glue them in place. Um, so yeah, I have quite unruly brows, so it was quite good. Um, yeah, I pop that on, they're not going anywhere. And we've got some under eye patches that don't have the brand on the packaging. Um, so yeah, there's no chance I'm, I'm gonna remember <laughs> if they don't put the branding on it, cause I, I just use that much stuff. I just can never remember. I think it was those like gold ones, but I'm not too sure. Where from. Then we've got a concealer from Catrice and this is the True True Skin High Cover Concealer. It's like that and this one is in um, Cool Kashmir. 
Um, this is a beautiful concealer. I've spoke about it a few times. Um, it's cheap as chips. It does an awesome job. Um, yeah, really nice. Then we have an eyeliner from Avon and this is the super definition liner. So this one's a liquid liner. Um, I didn't rate this one. There's a lot of Avon makeup, especially the glimmer stick eyeliners that I really do rate. This one, um, it was as if it had dried out even when I just opened it. Um, yeah, it was really hard to get a neat flick from it because it was like skipping. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't try that one again. Then we've got an eyebrow pencil from She Glam. So this is the two in one. It's a pencil one side and a felt tip the other. Um, I spoke about this one loads as well. Really great. I really do enjoy using this one. Um, this one's in the shade chocolate. Then we have e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. This is in the shade Feeling Shady. Um, so this one I use for contour. Um, I don't know if you can see, it's a very cool tone brown. Um, yeah, really like it. Um, I, I love their putty blushes as well. Then we have a face cream from Corel and this is the Intensive Moisture Facial Cream. So this is amazing. This is such a good cream. I think the retail price is £19, uh, but you can sometimes get them on boots for the £10 Tuesdays. Um, so whenever they come up there, I just get loads of them because it is so good. <laughs> you pop it on and it just looks like your face has been blurred. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, love that one. Then we have a liquid liner from She Glam. This one's really nice. Um, the She Glam liners are always really good. So again, super cheap, but do an amazing job. Then we have a body butter from Sanctuary Spa. This is the Melting Pills Body Butter 7 Day Moisture. So this was really nice. It felt beautiful and the skin really melted in nicely. Um, the scent on it is more subtle than the standard Sa uh, Sanctuary Spa stuff. Um, so if you're not so keen on the scent, you'll probably love this one. Um, I really like the scent, um, but this one was still nice. Then we have an eyeliner from Beauty Bay and this is the crayon liner and this one is in coffee. I couldn't remember what shade it was then. Um, so yeah, again, this is really nice. Um, I've got a couple of others in other shades. Um, they're really good. When you first apply it, you can smudge it, but once it dries down, it just stays there. A really nice liner. And lastly, we have a setting powder from She Glam, and this one was the Baked Glow Setting Powder in Translucent. This was a really nice powder. Um, I would get a setting powder again from She Glam, but I wouldn't get this one just because I prefer a matte powder. Um, I'd not read it properly when I ordered it, <laughs> but this it does have a bit of a shimmer to it. Um, so if, you, if you're not careful, you can look like you, you've escaped from Twilight, but yeah, it's a really nice powder. So yeah, that's my full empties for February. I'd say a lot smaller than normal. Uh, let me know down below what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, it'll just let you know every time that I upload. And as always, thank you for joining me. Enjoy your day. Bye.